Hello everyone, Delightful here. I like the novel and the new, so today, let's see what the indie world has for me and you. It has some Keeper RL, and I've played this before, but it's fully launched now. It's had its 1.0 recently, was it February 29th, 2024? So yeah, this added the huge new map update, and lots of different classes you can be, I mean, Keeper RL, it's, it's sort of, it's building upon the sort of dungeon master. You're like this evil overlord taking over the map. You don't have to be evil, right? This is the typical evil demonologist wizard, or dark knight if you want. I'm actually not going to go evil. You can be an undead full-on lich if you want. Go a lich because that matters apparently. <laughs> you're back about you're you're a skeleton. At that point, does it matter? I, I don't know. <laughs> you can be an automaton master like gnomes. That's a trap focus. I probably do that at some point. Dwarf. So like this game was heavily influenced by Dwarf Fortress as well, but it's more it's a more approachable Dwarf Fortress. Like, you're not managing hundreds upon hundreds of dwarves. No, it's, it's more combat focused. It's more get right to it. Green skin, so you <laughs> could be a, the Goblin King. Again, kind of bad guy. The dwarves are fine. It's just they don't get they don't get recruitment. You have a 12 dwarves. Think like Snow White, right? You don't get more. So if you mess up, like throw a potion on them, as I did the last time I was playing, I think, and get the dwarves mad at each other, well, <laughs> you've lost those dwarves. I threw a healing potion at the back of this, the guy's head thinking it would heal him and no, he got all offended. <laughs> I guess they were at the breaking point. Their relationship was not holding up. Could be a zombie. <laughs> yeah, adventurer mode, which has been folded into. There used to be... Yeah, that, that's a change of the the update as well. They folded adventure mode into the main game. That's interesting. Or well, the hermit. I can just be a giant cyclops. Yeah. We're going to go castle. Oh, man, that's a callback. Callback from Heroes of Might and Magic. Yeah, the first one, just be castle or be rampart, you know. Now, I'm going to be the not-so-evil human race. Har, har, har. Not-so-evil. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I'm going to try to be good. Recruit knights, priests, and angelic beings. That's very different from the, hey, I'm a demonologist, I summon imps. And undead and do a little bit of everything. You, they're pretty bad dudes. So I'm going to try to be nice. Other mods as well as the tutorial. I do recommend taking a poke at it. I mean, you can watch my video instead. I quickly reviewed to get my cut keys and... The game controls a very specific way. It's good. It's just have to get used to play a lot of different games. So welcome to the campaign mode. The world, which you see below, is made up of smaller maps. Yeah, so every little, it's like Caves of Cud. Like, that's why I was comparing it to a traditional roguelike. This is a roguelike in the sense that, I mean, I suppose it's a traditional roguelike if you include Dwarf Fortress in that. It's a colony building roguelike, but it's good. Turn-based. All right, so pretty much just telling you each, each tile here each grid is made up of a separate map, like how it works in Caves of Cut. Like, and that means I can just explore grid by grid if I want. Well, but here I only go on grids with stuff on them. I can build a base on one of them, it will show you. Hostiles and friendlies, alright. So I can just regenerate this if I don't like it. So, on this map here, I don't have any friendlies. I got a red dragon, who's worth 6 whole six XP, I guess. The cyclops, who is worth also 6 XP, he must be huge. The ants, I lesser villain, okay. The main bad guy... The home site, okay, I start here in the mountains. I like the mountains. Oh. Okay, I'm in like a valley, mountain valley, so I'm in grassland, actually. Hmm. Zombies. So is each one worth 3 XP? They're worth more than the dragons? This isn't bad. I don't know if anyone has any preference. Which, I can, you can just re-roll it if I don't like that one. Here we go. Ooh, this is interesting. A demon den. Yeah, dark elves. Goblins, more dark elves. A mystery. Okay, I like this one. In the mountains. This pleases me. There should be more resources in the mountains, but obviously I'm not going to have much water, because you can dig moats and stuff in this. Like, dig pits in the water, or lava, or lava, yes. Lava lakes will flow. Oh, this was added. So you can, there's now, you can do, I don't remember this before, that I can directly indicate, hey, I can just be a peaceful mode. I, I don't, I'd be bored doing that, but you could do that. If you just learn the game, want to focus on building up the base. You can have endless enemy waves after winning, from the start, if you want. I can have the enemy curve difficult medium or extreme will go normal i can increase allies or less allies keep it at default minor villains lesser villains and main so the big bad the the mid-tier and then the, the low beast you just knock over on the way this seems good i'm happy with this world map right and that will confirm and it will generate the map generating my map and a more detailed version of the world map so this expansion well this this free update is not expansion it's a free update to the game 1.0 it adds a lot well here we go yeah it was a couple days ago because it's March the 1st, 
2024. So this was released on February 29th, 2024. In addition to being a huge milestone, it is. This update also contains major gameplay improvements. Below is a very short summary, and we encourage you to check it out further. Yeah, yeah. New, larger, better working, better looking world map. I mentioned that. New difficulty scaling. I mentioned that. Power curve. I mentioned that. Big updates in the crafting. Yeah, with the gear. We'll talk about that as it happens. As I find better stuff. The gear curve has been made more interesting. Like, the really special stuff's really special, so it matters a lot. Yeah, maybe check out the tutorial. I hate tutorials, but in this game, you've probably... Unless you're watching someone else giving you an intro video, something like this, or... Well, ooh, yeah. So you see this map here, the mini-map here and the main map here? This fog of war. So these trees are blocking the sight of my peoples, my, my workers. I'm not going to call them peasants now. I have freed them from the fields. I'm a liberator. The keeper, right? Delightful dude, the creeper. So I... <laughs> the creeper... <laughs> Kind of, kind of sort of is. I'm creeping through the woods of my four followers. All right. That's going to change. Two male, two female, so I can make more little peoples, right? <laughs> Workers. So I'm the... He's a fighter, right? He has got a good attack skill. He starts with sword, a light helmets, and armor. That's leathers. Fighter and he starts with a healing ability, which is really cool. And he can intrinsically punch and kick if he didn't have a sword. That's pretty good. And the my workers... They are, they're like the imps if you play the evil faction. I can assign them to teams if I want. Pretty much these guys are my workers, they're my diggers. Something died here, a skeleton lying here. Okay, oh, it has stuff, that's generous. So what I, hmm, I, I, what I should do, click on my character here, and what we, what we want to do here is control them. I can manually control each character if I want. And I can just walk them around, to, well, using arrow keys if I want, but remember this is a, this is a ordinal roguelike, meaning, I'm not just limited to north, south, east, and west, right? Which some roguelikes, ugh, in a bid to to be more approachable, I, I just think it's better for... It's intended to be better for mobile control or something. They can just move north, south, east, west. You cannot move, actually, in those sorts of games. Diagonal, I can't move, say, to the northwest or the southwest. Or the northeast or the southeast, right? You just can't do it. Which is... It feels so odd. And strange like because normally you can move in those directions i actually prefer hex systems because it doesn't have this weird disconnect so you don't have to worry about is it is it an ordinal roguelike or a cardinal cardinal directions and ordinal directions diagonals because of a hex i know i don't have to worry about that silliness anyway, i want to explore around the area i'm in the mountains so i should have a nice deep mountain i can dig into now normally with the castle faction here <laughs> castle faction that the knight they're not knight the knight here refused to bend the knee and left his his lord, who claimed to be his lord, enter to pick up. Magic mushrooms. Gotta make this time in the mountains manageable. A panic mushroom, that sounds fun. That's a bad trip, bad trip mushroom. I wanna check out my lands. Well, the lands of my peoples, right? I'm just the elected leader, right? They chose me. Oh, that was a little sluggish. The bandit swings him, his club at me. I am wounded. That was unfortunate, early bandit. Hmm. I have a sword, I can probably kill him. I'm wounded. How wounded? How bad is this? Wounded. So I can inspect him a little bit. Must be killed to conquer the tribe. He builds bridges and he's a source of light. Oh, He's a nice bandit. No, it's because he has a torch. I'm going to attack him. He is dead. You killed the bandit. Oh no, I kicked the bandit. The bandit's arm is broken. He dropped his club, so I high kicked him. Ka he started bleeding. I kicked him so hard he started bleeding. Okay, so I broke his arm. It was a complex fracture. It fractured out, <laughs> and he's bleeding. I swung my fist at him, and then he dropped to his knees, I guess, after I shattered his, his right arm. Then I bring a hammer fist down and cave his skull in. He's dead. My spirit is lifted. <laughs> Remember, he's a fighter, right? Killing will stop migration. That's the tribe leader. Peoples, I probably should have put a separate group on, so just my characters here, but my workers might draw an attack from him, which could be pleasing to me. I'll step to the southeast. Okay. Die! Hiya! yeah. I swing my fist at the bandit. I mean, I have a sword. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So, I can... Oh, okay, yeah, if you click on your character, it skips the turn. But you see how, how, how I clicked earlier? I had intrinsic attacking with my fists and my, my kick. How this game does, it's very generous. I can do those in addition to my main attack. So, I sword, I sword slash and then punch kick. It was displaying that weird, but... I mean, it's a tile-based system, so I'm gonna... What's it? I can space bar, right? Skip turn. Execute him. I swing my sword at the bandit. I cut his leg clean off. He collapsed. The effect is permanent. Oh, yeah. I was mentioning Dwarf Fortress, right? So if your character takes an injury like that, you lose an arm, a limb. That's permanent. Yeah. I mean, you can get regeneration. That might heal it. Ooh, we had a potion of healing. Yoink. And a club. 
Now those corpses, those could be useful to a necromancer, but I don't partake of the foul necromancy. My character is an honorable warrior. I kick him. His arm is broken. Is that? <laughs> See, the starting knight's quite the badass. Step to there. He's he's dead. And I just click what I want. I take I take. So let's go go, go my inventory. I can carry quite a bit. I'm a pretty beefy fighter. I'm actually a really good fighter because I also have free healing ability. So it's like them. <laughs> it's a bit like playing a fighter in Baldur's Gate, the first one. But I got the ability that gives me the ooh night vision. That's handy in the in the dark. It gives me an ability to cast Cure Wounds. And you get that as long as you don't make a super evil decision. Then you get Drain Life. Lyrlux, Drain Life. I kick him. He's critically wounded. I swing my fist. He's critically wounded. This guy's a bit tougher. He drank a potion of healing. He drank my potion of healing. That little... It's fine. It's fine. He's dead now. I take his club. This is good. It's an early encounter, but you see why having a strong melee... Ca what is this? A vulture. It's hostile. It's flying. Okay, I gotta waste you. Where'd you go? A little... It's fine. Interesting. I could just take over his house. Take over that that house, but... Ooh, mushroom. <laughs> now, enter to pick up. And... Ooh. Rage potion. Oh, rage mushroom. And the skeleton. If I was a necromancer, those would be more interesting. Pig corpse. So, the, uh, it's, it's environmental storytelling right here, right? The bandits came in, took over the homestead, butchered all the animals. Butchered my people's. The cow, too? Villain. Club. See? Bandits are bad. <laughs> I mean, let me, perspective of the bandit. Well, the perspective of society on the bandit is who are they robbing from? Are they robbing from the rich and giving to the poor? Are they Robin Hooding? Or are they just robbing from other poor people and giving to themselves, right? Are they scum? That's the question. I can kick in the door. Hero that I am. Knock, knock. And we can, ooh, okay. And then five pieces of gold. And a summon fire elemental. Okay, that, that's very handy. I should remember I have that. Sleep in bed on the corpse. Brilliant. And a goat corpse. This was goat's house. So oh, sad. So this is interesting. We could pack up those beds and just take them. I think I might. Hmm. Hmm. So I could set up in here. There's something there. Could be good. Could, I think I know what it is. I don't like you there. This is a good... Like, what was the other stuff? I... I'm a little upset I hadn't had my people's work in this whole time, but... It's a... Ooh. Hmm. Well, this is convenient. This means I won't have to dig a cave. It's a cave right there. Mr. Moose, are we cool? No, we're not cool, in fact. The deer bites me. Oh, no. <laughs> These are the kind of deer you see in Conco's Elysium. They go after humans and, like, eat them. Which is a bit based on reality. Because there are those... I don't know if people want to know about this, but there are those... Sites where, if, say, if you donate your body, they leave out the body for forensic to just to study how bodies decay and stuff. And there are deer, which you normally wouldn't expect to consume meat, not passing up a free meal and consuming the corpses. Yeah. So if, if deer can get protein, they'll go for it. You cast a spell, you're fully healed, and that's oh, 30 second cooldown. Very nice. I wonder. Hmm. I've got seven kills. Delightful do the bandit slayer. So as I do cool stuff, I get little bonuses. What is in this cave? I need to know. This is my territory. That my people have elected me to see Dark Elves. That's bad. Because they're really good stuff. He's the tribe leader. He's right there. He's already saw me. He's resistant to magic and can see in the dark. It's not applicable to me. 22 and 34. I'm stronger. I could just drop a fire mantle on him. <laughs> the smart bet is consume my magic mushrooms. Eat it. I'm gonna eat the damage one too. Eat it. And panic? Rage. Increases attack and lowers defense. I don't want that. I don't have a shield though, do I? Magic? Magic mushroom causes hallucinations. <laughs> okay, we didn't, we, that, that's happy trip time. Okay. So I've boosted my unprotected. Oh, that's from the, the protective mushroom. I'm dangerous. So don't step into him, right? Because then in this game, you don't have movements and attack. It's you have an action, right? So if I were to step into him, he'd attack me. So I want to skip my turn here and then attack him. I swing my fist at him. He's wounded. So my sword critically wounded. I kick him. All right, he, he had to cast his heal. I should kill him this turn. Nope. Swing the sword. He is wounded. I am wounded. I'll waste him. Dead. I kick him. I kicked him down. I have more experience. My spirit is lifted. 
Ooh, a nice sword. Thank you. And money and some armor. Hmm. Okay. Now, ooh, ooh, more things. There's another fighter. Must be killed to conquer the tribe. I mean, did he see me? I think he saw me. I'm gonna pull back. Yeah, well, I'll heal slowly over time. Like, I've scared them sufficiently. My damage wanes. That's fine. That's fine. I will rapidly heal me. Okay. No, so we won't set up there just yet. I could probably do it. But I think... You fool. Step out into the light. This is my domain. He's probably got a debuff because he is... He's a drow. Alright, I need to guarantee he dies. Ooh, I could... Equip the sword. I can dual wield swords. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'll show this wannabe dritz how it's done. Rage is tempting. I would prefer... It's a magic mushroom. It was a flower. See how intense he can quickly get? I was just securing my terrain. I was trying to make, see if I could pick like a good deep mountain. But Okay. That's a really nice sword I got. Rage. Uh, like, I'll step back one. Just to make sure I have a heal available. If I need it. I swing my sword, he's critically wounded. I swing my fist, he's critically wounded. I kick him. I swing my sword, yeah, he's, he's dead. He casts a spell to heal. I attack again. He's critically wounded, I swing my fist, he's critically wounded. He hit me, he's critically wounded. I am wounded. Finish him. Excellent, I am more experienced. My spirit is lifted. Heal me. Better sword, money, very intense. So I will unequip my old sword, don't need that. I will, there we go. Two elven swords, I'm wielding them both. Normally I want a shield, because if I die it's all over, but still that's pretty good. Alright, I think enough messing around like this. We need to push. Like I need to set up a facility. I should already have had them digging, but I just This seems good. Yeah, I need to know. Because I've already that was the minor villains, I think. What's that? Alright, so this seems fine. I have some water over there. Defense, I want that G. I'm pushing G by habit, ground, no. How deep is that water? Shallow. So I could, like, connect it to here and have, like, a shallow moat, but I'm not gonna bother. We're living in the mountains. We are rejecting... My character refused to bend the knee. He will not become someone else's an errant boy of the nobility. That's disgusting, no. He was appointed to protect these people, and he shall. I think this isn't bad. This gets me, like, how much space do I have? Quite a bit. I can just go in there. I think I'd rather cut to the east, though. Yeah, it gets it deeper. Iron me, Fox. Fox is hostile. <laughs> He's just looking for an opportunity. He looks all friendly. Not. Mm -mm. All right, this is good. Happy with this. So, uh, I want to dig in, into this position. So D to dig. Oh, yeah, exit control mode. <laughs> so many enemies killed. I'm an animal. High level fighter, right? <laughs> uh, so I should probably. I should separate me into a team. Yeah, that's the new team. So when I just control me, these guys won't follow me. Oh, how bad? How badly wounded are you? Just wounded. I'm sure you'll eventually heal. 14 and 12, or as I am at 22 plus 11 for my weaponry. My defense is a weak though. Intrinsically, punch and kick. Very good. Oh yeah, you can, their mounts those added a bit ago. I want to dig though. I want to. I can just click and drag like that, but. I'm a two by two, I think, heading in. Now I was thinking, I'm gonna have these little wings here, and I'll talk about that why in a minute, and then we'll dig, and I can go, I can just watch them work, which is nice. Oh, yeah, we'll watch them work. No, silly. Ooh, what's this? My recruitment, a cleric. Now to get the cleric, I need a basic bed. Wait. So this is how recruitment works. A cleric would be excellent, excellent support for me. I need a wooden. I have the bed. Oh. I so I can just go and claim these. Because I have two workers right now who aren't doing anything. I can I should be able to just tell them to fetch these locations. I don't remember the hotkey for it. To I, I think I just yeah, probably. I don't want to claim this, because that's that's dangerous. I want to Okay. I think I know what I need to do. I need to set up a stockpile. I prefer to do that once I'm inside, but I'll set up a little one here. This is where they'll take things. And for the stockpile is off of what's the hotkey for it? I noted all the hotkeys. Cause I don't know how often you'd need this. Storage is S. 
So as I can bring up the storage thing and put equipment locations, resources. Hmm. And I see I was walking around picking up mushrooms. I can just tell my people to grab things as well. I tell you, I don't remember how to do it. I might have to claim that, and I don't want to do that. Villains, yeah, I triggered the Dark Elves. Oh no. Oh, yeah, I conquered the bandits. Yeah, right click to clear. Or just click on, I could. I don't want their bodies. If I was a necromancer, I'd really want that. Or a Dark Warlock could do things with them too. I don't have enough gold for the peasants. A horse, again, I need stables. Dogs, any beast cages. I'm not like when that's going. An artisan, so a, f uh, a forger for creating things. I think I can just get you. I need a bed. A basic bed and a forge station. A cleric. Or maybe, maybe. I don't like doing this, but I can just set up out here in this little alcove. So if I click. Oh, v is library. I haven't even gathered any wood. Alright, D is for wood as well. It's D for... D is your default gather. It's dig. It's... And if you, like, click, like, too much, you can also just well, click off it again like that. Or if I don't want to mind that, I can hold control, and then... I should do it. Yeah, hold control, and it will click off it. <sighs> really? Thank you. And I can just click if I want to get it. So I don't want to dig into that. There we go. So that they will gather those trees and they will transform to this location here. Very good. What else do I want to do? I need uh, equipment storage as well, maybe? I'm a little worried about those those drow. Those will come play with me, so we need to get some doors up pronto. You saw that, right? Yeah. Delightful dude's got some bad habits. I have to correct that. So he left the lord because he wasn't being respected, right? So I can look through their behaviors. And control type, he's melee. Control him, I don't want to do that. There's a way to modify their behaviors. I have. To, I did it earlier, add consumable, maybe. He already had a bunch, he should still have them on him. He does, okay, good, good. Five healing potions, that's where I want them right now. So I don't want to have him like, set up an equipment stockpile and drop them there, I want him on, to have those things. I can, yeah, activities, click activity, he's gonna melee. He's not going to avoid melee because he is melee. So I want him to not... He's not into being whipped. He's not into that. And he's not going to abuse minions. He's picked up some bad habits from the ones who are trying to dominate him. So we're not going to do that. We're going to play a nice knight. A knight of the people, right? So we aren't going, are not going to abuse minions. I think it makes him work faster, but no. We're not, we're not going to roll like that. He should just be encouraging them instead. All right, so we've got a nice little area here. More dig. All right, so that would be a door. I think, yeah, door. We're gonna do gate. It's a bit stronger, right? Get a gate, then we have like a little area in here. And dig, dig. Get that going here. And they'll construct that. If you don't wanna wait, I can just go super fast. I really won't. We'll reinforce that's a little thin. Because this is soft rock, easy to get through. What was that? A squire. Yeah, I do want squires. Certain characters will have traits as well, so he hates all green skins. He's probably gonna go for them first. I need a bed and a wooden training dummy. A wooden training dummy. Yeah, I really should have one of those. All right, the training is. I can just click it there, obviously, but I have to remember what is the hot key for train V. Now V is living room stuff, and training is R. So if I click R, I can make a wooden training dummy to get that squire. Yeah, and I need 12 wood. Do I have 12 wood? I have plenty of wood. 126. So I want, I want to... Why are you getting, let me build it? Archery. Now the archery thing I can build. I want that too. But... I need a workstation as well. Oh, these things I need. Alright, training room. There we go. Okay, I was just being weird. Um... Oh, I can't... I can only build in territory I claim. So I could claim this area out here. I don't think I want to do that. Put it right there for now. It's a horrible place for it, but I'm going to put it there. Oh, I need a wooden bookcase, too. That's V for library, and... Oh, I need... The, does the squire want a bed? He wants a bed. Of course he does. Eh. They all want something, don't they? <laughs> it's fine. I understand. I... Because I want that to loop around. 
Okay, you want training, crafting, poetry table. Yeah, you can write bad poetry and I guess use it on monsters and they hate it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right, gate is up. That makes me happy. The, now there is Z levels in the game as well, so you can go upstairs and downstairs. I can build reinforced walls, a wall of arrow slits. I intend to put arrow slits there and have archers behind when they reach through, so I can just pepper them with crossbows and stuff. That's the plan anyway. Zones, quarters, I can put them in certain areas, so it'll be a guard zone. Animal fencing, no, not yet. Uh, was it library? I wanted the... Well, you know, I have enough wood, I suppose. Just fine bed. No, I can't do that. They need metal for whatever reason. What is the being the problem with this? It's a yeah. Okay, when I'm clicking the hotkey for whatever reason, it's not. That could be a weird bug. Ah, uh, this is irksome. I can't put it there. I think I have to claim the territory. Dig a little more. How long do I have? These guys will fade a little bit of time. That's so my character is training now. That's good. Can I get the? He needs a bed. All right, fine. You're gonna get your bed, and that's under living. I can just put the bed. In the... Yeah, put it right there. <laughs> put it right there. I mean, we need beds. All right there. Now I can click him and just get him. I guess I use my connections to get a squire. And I can eventually knight these characters and they'll become knights. I... Hmm, okay, so I have a squire going there. Oh, they're, they're napping. Great. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> it's, it's funny. But it's not what I wanted. They were tired. I mean, I guess they deserve it. So my plan is gate, right? Entrapment area. So I'm going to border that, block that off eventually. And... Yeah, I, I, I plan to marrow them, but the stru structure of the cave not going to be able to. I might have to reinforce that a bit. Get that wood out. Because I'm going to need it. Yeah. And... Ah, oh, they're both training. Very good. What's that? A dog. I need a beast cage. Okay, I need a wooden bookcase, like, right now. Oh, don't... All right. I have to note that. It's a weird little bug I haven't seen before. It could be related to the update. Uh, bug. When I use the... I don't know. Building hotkeys. I cannot select a workstation to be built. It only works if I click. I mean, it's a minor thing, but still. If you... Go to trouble of learning the hotkeys and they don't work. It can be upsetting. Or irritating more than anything. Uh, beds. Put the beds here. I can always move them. Both training there. So when, by doing that, that's getting up their training skill. He can go to 12. My, and the squire can go to 7. And we have... Let's see that damn bookcase. All right, fine. <laughs> I will find it. Library. Why not? Oh, I don't have sorcery. Oh, no. Okay, okay. So, yeah, have a level works. Have a level up working works in this. <laughs> level up working, yeah. As I as I wipe out minor factions or enemy factions or whatever, I get points. Here, it's right here. And I can learn new things. So I can learn how to capture prisoners. Oh, no, this is just... Here we go. Here we go. Here it is. This is, this is telling you how to do certain things. I'm probably not going to be capturing prisoners. Maybe I'll do it later. But I can get a promotion, right? Like, every time I level up, I can promote one of my squires into a knight, or I can learn things. Now, I do want sorcery, because that gives me basic uh, magic. Oh, I can get a priest. That's a cleric. I don't know the difference between a cleric and a priest in this. Chicken breeding. Alchemy, no, I want sorcery. There we go. So, as I do more cool stuff, conquer more villains, my character's an adventurer, right? I get more progress and can learn how to do more stuff. Additionally, get tougher, right? With this character, at least. All right, so now, like, if I had started with the... Hmm, the Dark Wizard, I'd start with Sorcery. Because he's an evil sorcerer, right? Uh, okay, something else I can do. I can push A, and they will prioritize building it. 
There we go. All right, and I want my cleric right now. Cleric is here. Cleric is spell school healer. Okay, so really good healer. Advanced healing, expert healing. Now, is they study at the the book? I guess I used my connections and had my people get a bunch of books over here. You know, they built the bookcase. Group healing, poison resistance is very good because the drought tend to use poison. The ants have nasty poison. A cleric joined my forces. Excellent. All right, so now we gotta get this building. Dig, 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 dig. We're gonna build up into a, like a great hall area out here. Oh, my, all my peasants are asleep. Oh, all my workers are asleep. That's fine. They deserve it. I want more beds. They're all like they're hot bunking. <laughs> they, there we go. Build more beds for them. What was that? Another squire? Requires one more training dummy. You're attacking me, Mr. Raven. Hmm, no. I can try to tra tame things. Tame the raven? Mm, I don't think I will. Don't much want him. Wooden dummy. We will put the dummy... Uh, here. I can move the stuff later. Ho oh, ho ho. I'm under attack by the dark elves. Okay, well that's why I put the gate up. That's very good. It's only one dark elf. No, oh, one of my persons. One of my people's just caught outside, and I think I'm napping. <laughs> so you chose wisely, Dark Elf. Okay, but now, because I have more peoples, right? I can go, Clark, with me! Squire, with me. Alright, now... Um, uh, hmm. Okay. I probably should have dropped the gear first, because these guys don't actually come with gear. I will control him, and I will... Drop the armor. Drop the armor. Drop the spare sword. And drop, drop some. Yeah, drop all of the clubs. That's good. And okay, okay. No, so I'm controlling you, right? Exit control mode. Will he move now? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So something else I can do, right? All right they're all on the team, right? That's good. That's good. Now I can control. Yeah, banish him, I don't want to do that. Assign gear. Yeah, he'll just assign some gear. That works. He'll take a club and some armor. That's good. Oh, he can use range, too. Oh, my squires can be archers. Good, good, good. That pleases me. Right now. Ah! Okay, I gotta go get him. It's fine. Drag and drop minions onto a new team. Create a new team. No, the team is fine. I will control me. No! That dry will die. That's unfortunate. I will use a defense mushroom just to imply and chew. Well, guarantee I win. And space. Tribe of Dark Elves is destroyed. They only have one other guy, huh? And the vultures eating the body. Oh, you. Ten wood planks. Nice. Nice sword, though. A nice set of armor. Better up armor upgrade. So, we will equip that. Interesting. The other guys wouldn't come with me. I guess they were sleeping. Okay, it's fine. Drop. And... Drop that other sword. So, we got some gear. But unfortunate that I lost a worker. That is unfortunate. Minions killed. I don't get credit for that. All right, so he's gonna drop stuff there. All right. Squire reached damage level three. Put some, place some torches to light up my dungeon, my my, my subterranean lair. Yeah, I should do that. Uh, yeah. All right. One, two, three, and then oh god. All right. Can I claim floor? All right. Can I? Oh, I can also cancel a build by what is it? It's E, I think, right? Yeah, E to clear and something I've already built. I want... Yeah. Alright, he's sleeping. That's good. Dig out there. That we built there. Alright, can I... Cleric, will you... 
Yeah, see, he picked up a better sword where he's going to. Very good. One. And then we can shoot there, and then... I mean, we probably don't need the double doors just yet. One, two, three, and then one, two, three. Alright, that's enough. And we can open this up. How's this look? Is that 8 by 11? That's probably a bit much. 6 by... 8 by 8 seems good. Yeah. 9 by 8. And I can tell them to... Oh, die. Yeah, we got all their stuff. So I can take all the iron ore. I can take their battle axes. Take their. I can take all their stuff. 30 rocks. Yes, I should actually... Yeah, go take my hero. And control them. And go off and loot them. And they attacked me, so they're... You know. Peasant lag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think the vultures will attack me. Boop, boop. Don't, yeah, don't ever hold it like that. What's this? I didn't do this. I see it rotted away, the deer. Probably the drow did it. Yep, you come rotted away. Auto saving. Nice game. So if they have anyone left here, they're non combatants. I could capture them. But if we assume the drow are always evil, is it worth it? Oh, uh, yeah. Dark elves, civilians. They're hostile, so. Take the potion of healing. My spirit is lifted. He attacked. And they'll run. They wounded me. Run, elf. Dark health head, corpse, battle axe, that's what I wanted. Bed. Potion resistant. Poison resistance is quite nice. It's a tiny little cave and you came back? That was a mistake. That's why I want a ranged weapon though, because I... Hmm. And he can see in the dark and I can't, so it's probably not best that I'm chasing them out here. But I've scared him away, right? <laughs> Pick up the magic mushroom. I think I can make beer with that. So if there was only one more, I could have just taken their area. Oh well, you never know. Damage mushroom. Cool. And we just exit control mode. He will just head back. Anything else I need? I got them all. Oh, I actually don't want to claim all. I can right click to clear it. What's this? Squire? Yeah, hired. Oh, he's got smelly breath. Yeah, so being, him being around other people is not going to be great. A craftsman? Yeah, an artisan. I want that. Oh, we need to build torches so I can push, was it, C? For, to C, C to help you see, right? Build torches on those walls there. A cleric. Four to eight defense against the undead. I value clerics. There you go. More bookcases. Okay, then. I mean, we should focus on Sorcerer, right? Because I chose it. I think... Branch one off there. I could put a room there. I could put a room there. I tend this to be like a general sort of area, but I suppose I can just move things later, right? Yeah, I can certainly do that. Wooden dummies. Merit. Well, sort of merit. Right, they'll build torches there so we can see a bit more. Eventually. Alright, <sighs> fine. Alright, he's finally getting that done. No, what are you. Yeah, thank you. Please prioritize this. Another person? Yeah. Not of gold. Hmm. Oh, I got him. Cleric. Two clerics. It's very nice. Alright, we gotta move these things. I need to... E, just remove construction. That works, I guess. Alright. And I wish they would prioritize making those torches. That would be great. If they would simply do that. Yeah, because I'm sleeping like right in the way. That needs to... <laughs> that needs to change. Two. 
two, three, four beds. All right, and then we can move the the resource storage in here for faster building. And then, because this your stuff isn't counted unless it's in your resource storage, so I can actually then delete this storage zone here. So see it, my ooh, my resources disappeared. You say, I need to actually dig more wood as well. <laughs> dig to, to get more wood. And that also needs to move. There we go. Go cut those trees, please. Thank you. Another cleric. I need more bookcases. Very well. Maybe I'll put it there. See, we're getting to harder rock, so normally you want to go for the soft rock first. Put the storage there, I guess. So this is like equipment storage. Put that like right there. Thank you. Finally building some light. Another squire. One more training dummy. All right. So they can work. This isn't a good training place for a training dummy because they can't all work from every angle. Uh, I guess it can be moved. Terrible place for a dummy. Alright, so we got that. One, alright, one. So one, two, three. We'd have, like, I put like a double door here, and then I could plan to connect these at some point. Yeah, that, that would be nice. One, two, three, and then. Oh, no, no, I can't go there. Oh, it could, yeah. One, two, three, door. One, yeah, so we have one, two, three, and then lights, and then door here, right? And then we have a cut in at this location. I guess they just connect, that's fine. Yeah. Door will be there. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I think that should be fine. Because we can just have lights here. Yeah, you just click on the, the wall, the tile adjacent to it, and the wall will appear. How is... Sorry, I'm just saying this. How is my experience with the the user interface? A lot of the Steam reviewers mentioned it's a pretty awful experience. Eh, it just depends what they're used to. Oh, this is live. I, I just... Sorry. Shake. I tend to get a bit distracted playing. Uh... <laughs> playing keeper rl because i'm like i'm trying to like i'm not building the layer but you have an idea on your head but then the, you get an early attack so you have to just constantly move things around but yeah the ui i mean i i already encountered a little bug with it just in terms of say v i want to build a bed right but if i click bed it's not working because it's, it's not recognizing me pushing these buttons now, now it is but if i click one i have to go down like fine bed's working but basic bed is not that's a bug never used to do that from what i remember anyway but if I arrow, if I go V and then push V again, then go back through and then click, it still doesn't work. So the basic bed, the high keys aren't working for basic bed. They're not working for uh, was it D for dig dig wouldn't apply. Open so door. It's I click O for open. See, it's not working, but it works for the iron door. It's it's a weird little bug. I mean, it's not that hard. But I think the main thing that throws people with the UI in this game is you don't move with the W S and D. You move with the arrow keys. It's an older way of doing things. It's like uh, Dominion's Warriors of the Faith. So it'll be Rise of the Panel Creator does it a similar way. Yeah. Mm. What other game does it that way? Like older older uh, games will do it that way. It, it works fine. You just have to get used to it. Just use the arrow key to move around the camera. And that's fine. If this was like real time, that would be an issue. Because WSN is faster. But... And it's actually fine because with my right hand, I can use a number pad. This is a an ordinal roguelike, meaning I can when I control a character, like I control my keeper here, my glorious keeper, I control him. I need a high key for this. Oh, that's my squire. Oh, whatever, he'll work. They don't like being in the dark, by the way. I gotta get, get torches in here. But I can control him with a number pad. So two, I can go south. Eight, I can go north. Four, I can go west. And six, I can go east, right? You'll see that in like lots of tile-based roguelikes where you have north, south, east, and west movement. North, south, east, and west movement. But you won't see diagonal movements. 
because it's a limitation of a tile-based system, because a lot of times to appeal to um, maybe to mobile, they, some devs have the idea that it's a game that has only cardinal roguelike is more understandable, but it's weird when you can't move in diagonals, because in real life, of course, life isn't broken down into tiles or hexes, it's just, it's just abstraction, right? You can move diagonally, <laughs> right? So in ordinal-based roguelikes, you cannot do this, right? whereas this is an this is an, in a cardinal based roguelike, you cannot do this. Was an ordinal roguelike, you can do this. This is why I prefer hexes, because you dodge this whole issue. With a hex, like, if we look at a tile here, I mean, oh, let's find a nice one. This one. He's, I'm just following me, whatever. So, on this tile here, I have a space to my north, my south, my west, my east, one, two, three, four, and then one, five, six, seven, eight. Like, eight sides I can be potentially attacked by. Now, if you limit it to a cardinal roguelike, that means one, two, three, four. You can only be attacked on four sides. There are good cardinal-based roguelikes that do this. Uh, Dungeons and Dreadmoor does this. So you can cheat it bit by a bit by using abilities and certain magical spells and throwing weapons off angles, right? But monsters can do that as well. But we're... I mean, it still feel, it feels weird that a monster on your diagonal side cannot attack you, unless they're throwing something at you. It feels odd. All right, particularly if they have, like, a long weapon. Whereas in a, a hex-based system, you can only be surrounded at most by six sides, right? So it dodges the whole issue of you can't have diagonal movement in a hex, you know, because it, it's a it's a hex, right? It just once people get familiar with hexes, they're just inherently more tactical because you don't have to worry about these these odd issues. And then if you're trying to traverse a room, right, it's more efficient to move diagonally. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, if I could go through that, six, seven, right? It's more if you're trying to cross a map diagonal movement, it's more efficient. Whereas in a, a hex, again, it's just a hex takes account of that. By talking about the movement system. Thank you, you put the torches in, my people are more happy now. Alright, so exit control mode. I can there's a hotkey for exit control mode, but not for enter it. That kind of makes sense because I have to tell the game who to control, right? That kind of makes sense. Okay, but Clarks using a sword. I like it, I approve. Old school DD clerics could not use bladed weapons because that it was going off that old myth of I think it was the bishop at the Battle of Hastings, the king's brother or whatever. He of uh, the bastard. Who was invading uh, the Norman, and he he refused to draw blood, so he used a mace and cave people's skulls in, right? <laughs> but that's where that, that old D and D second edition, first edition, where clerics couldn't use bladed weapons because they didn't want to draw blood, right? But they could still kill. All right, uh, peasants, aren't, my my workers aren't going to use any weapons. That's fine. That's probably for the best. They don't. Uh, light levels. How do these look? He, they're not complaining. Activities, I can tell, I can ban certain tasks. <laughs> ban them from distilling, ban them from being whipped. That's what they're into. I can banish them, don't do that. I can locate them, so go right to them if I couldn't find them on the map. I can just click them over here. Uh, what I do need to do, 13 kills. I got a hard-working keeper. Oh, here we go. I have a source of light. I am rested. I am a rider. So, yeah, mounts were added a bit ago. Oh, yeah, this, uh, this is a great introductory... Roguelike, it's, I mean, you, people could get pedantic and say, oh, it's not a traditional roguelike, because it's a colony builder. If they say that, just mention Dwarf Fortress, right? Dwarf Fortress is an incredible game, but it is, it's a hell of a learning curve in that one. I should play it at some point. They should say, uh, at launch time, all the other people who play uh, colony building roguelikes were playing it, so I want to play something else. I played Dwarf Fortress. I mean, well, I was playing Dwarf Fortress in my off time, but I was, I chose to play Keeper RL instead, because this is a far more approachable introduction to a tra well, a traditional roguelike colony builder the few of them that exist yeah it's a really good game it has procedural generated maps as the procedural map and the world maps were changed now they made much more in depth and detailed more cool things to find so i'm playing it now because the the 1.0 just launched was it february 29th thing said okay this looks good i think i can have it just seems a poor idea to me to build the gate, the wooden gate, with torches adjacent left and right. Like, I'd rule that if I was like running this as a game, they get a chance of it burning the wood, so I wouldn't put those there. My plan is, to, it's probably overkill, because of this. I don't think I'm going to be attacked for a while, because I clear the my local hex. <laughs> I cleared my hex. I cleared my local tile, right? So, I, what my thinking was, I was playing this in my head, was door one two three and i have entrapment area here so this isn't going to be accessible i'm going to eventually put a d hopefully this works wall of arrow slits and then i can have my archers firing through it so they'll they'll have to spend time cutting down the gate and then i can have another area here which i guess will be here now 
Because in this position, you should be able to fire at that position. Okay, the gate will be here. There we go. That works. Might as well build it now. Why not? Wooden gate. Once I get some metal... Ooh, I have it right here. I could have an iron gate. Stop enemies. Your minions can pass freely unless you lock it. Yeah, I could lock them in. And now we'll go wood. We'll go wood. So I'll put a gate here. And then we have another trap in here, which will connect. So the, the minions, will, the monsters will be able to access this. And I can also reinforce the outside walls. Because in this game, unlike Dwarf Fortress, as far as I know, I've been paying attention to the updates, minions can dig in this. Enemy minions can dig into your base. Like, they can attack your walls. Whereas you can be attacked by, like, an otherworldly horror in Dwarf Fortress. You just wall it up and it can't get out. Or the undead or whatever, if you're in, like, a haunted biome. Whereas in this, no, no, no. This is more of a tactical focus on Dwarf Fortress. I think it's more combat focused. Whereas Dwarf Fortress is more uh, simulationist. Very simulationist, in fact. Great game. Love it. But this is faster. Alright, that gives me two gates. I should be real particular and just set up another one here as well. And we can connect it there. I don't... Does that bug me? I don't like it just going directly into it. We'll make it a bigger room. I like that. Bigger room. So we'll connect directly into it. It's unlikely they'll go through that. I could always replace the wall if necessary. And there are going to be squires there anyway, so they should be able to shoot them. And then I could... Ooh, hello. Another squire. You're hired. Nice. Ooh. This one hates green skins. That's a solid choice. The green skins are the enemy. I want... What I should be doing... I need to prioritize. Go go get this. Get that, please. Prioritize, get that. Yeah, you. You like that. Fine. I control you. Pick it up. <laughs> there you go. I'll, I'll manually do it. Where are my resources? Oh, you okay. You drop them here. <laughs> you can just do this if you want. Uh, down you go. Uh, and then I go, no, I control you anymore. Alright, so. I <laughs> put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> I put it in the resource in the uh, equipment storage, not in the in the resource storage. So I don't see it, which is yeah. They're, they're very particular in their ways. It's fine. Oh, they should move it over quicker. All right, all right. New team. Oh yeah, the cleric's not in it. All right, cleric's in. Oh no, is that? Yeah. Everyone who can fight, who will fight, needs to go in that band, and they should follow next time. I'm not comfortable with the idea of building beast cages for a dog. Uh, and we're used to, like, in Dwarf Fortress, like, I'll often have my critters just wandering around. Hates all green skins. Think about training dummies. But, I, okay, where's the, where's the... It's right there. Oh, my God. Fine. All right, Keeper, I control you. I go pick that up, and then this this is the right area. Now, I drop this. Drop all of it. And then drop it. There we go. Okay. Now, here it is. There's my iron. Now, I wanted that because I can actually train my, my guys. So, beating on a wooden training dummy can only take them to three... Adds up to three damage levels. I can get to seven with... Uh, oh, I need iron working. I thought he had it. I thought Knight started with iron working. Okay. Well, that changes things. I have... I can click here and it'll tell me. Killing that last Dark Elf got a bit more XP. I can promote one of my squires to a knight. Have they earned it, though? I've done all the work. No, no, no promotions. They gotta earn it. <laughs> set up my round table. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. I'll set up a round table. <laughs> if you can do it in this game. It might just have to be the square table. <laughs> All right. So I asked down task. All right, then. One more gate here. Ooh, iron. Yes. No, not a door. What am I thinking? Be grandiose. An iron gate. Yeah, I'll spend 16 iron on that. It's worth it. So this really delays the enemy. And then I'm going to have wall slits with... Uh, well, walls of arrows, let's pretty much here and here. Once I get some granite, which I have. No granite? Okay, what is that? Granite. I can dig to the north and get it. And I can also dig down. There's Z levels here. By mean, but I mean Z axis. I can dig down. There's additional maps. Tons and tons of maps. Like to a fortress. I have rock right there. Does that count as granite? I don't know. I don't know if it counts. Eh, we'll see. Go we'll get it. Pick it up. Ooh, gold. Gimme. And 26 pieces of wood. I am overloaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into the pile. Alright, drop it all. I will drop the rock. And I think it counts as granite. It does, it does. Good. That's what I wanted. 
Because that will let me set up these entrapment areas. And move those beds. My god. Ugh. All right, dig down. Dig down. Auto saving. Thank you. Oh, I also have a time scale and date. This actually really matters. Day. Because necromancers. Well, necromantic creatures like zombies and vampires will melt away in the light. Yeah. They'll like dissolve very quickly. I think zombies will too. Maybe. Yeah. Hmm. That looks good. And I can block those off. Alright. And I think I want to know this. E197. He doesn't. Huh. I was thinking if they like got the wood back, that's fine. I guess they just destroy it. There used to be a way, unless I'm missing mixing up with Dwarf Fortress. There used to be a way to move things. I don't remember how to do it now though. Oh, orders, my god. One would think orders would be, oh, whatever. Here's how you fetch things. I thought, yeah, so gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, yeah, take the bones, whatever. So I can fetch things and then move it to a specific location. They'll probably just take it to my resource storage. So previously when I was using E, it was just uh, destroying them. It's a good thing to know. I mean, fine. Uh, T destroys uh, structures with no recovered resources. It seems like you should get like half of it back. That's like a minor thing. It's not a bug report per se, it's just a suggestion. Because I had to find the orders key. Fetch items, fetch items persistently, claim tiles. Yeah, so I, what I, an archer, hello. I could have claimed this house by claiming the tile. Archery. I need an archery target. Easily done. Okay. I, well, what's a safe place? You, safe place he fires at the wall, right? Yeah, because I don't want to have to do that hard rock. All right. I want training, and I want an archery target. See, they'll, they'll fire at the, at the archery target from those vectors. Firing north, and then firing east. That works. So they, they will construct that. Thank you, my glorious workers. And Archer. I want those. A squire. One more training dummy you want? F how long do I have on you? should have done that earlier. 49. Kind of close. All right, fine. I... Mm, uh, I can put a little room in here. Ah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little room in... Well. Well. I think... So... Do you, I can put another gate here, too. <laughs> Just go all out. Yeah, because this will be another enchantment area. I think it's a little thin there. Hmm. I will need some. Well, I can make nice beds too. And training. I oh, don't get distracted. I need one more training thing. Just put it there. It's not worth staying long term. I just, I need it done. So I. Oh, I got. I missed him. Wait, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I got him. Seven seconds left. I got him. And another squire. One more wooden training dummy. What's happening fast this time? I uh, yeah. Well, that's a terrible position. No, don't do that. I there we go. Dig, dig, dig. And so I'm building up my forces. A horse. Not enough gold. <laughs> of course he's got need. Do I got bam? I'm guessing I'm paying like oh yeah. You can find like stables and stuff out on the world map too, which would be fun. I mean, I just I would want to fight mounted in a cave right i don't know how high these walls are i mean i'd set them low to discourage enemy raiders riders from coming in this seems good so i can have another door here another set of gates so my glorious compound and then those will be the oh I, I need to move this for him orders i want to remove construction i believe it's just e you move construction yeah i don't get i already know that order fetch item Take the bed. What are, you, what are you fetching? Okay. That, that's kind of working. I want to, I guess... Claim a dungeon tile as your own. Oh, claiming tiles. Fetch item. Order imps or, or workers to fetch items from location outside. This is a one-time order. I might not be able to move the bed. Fine. Get up. <laughs> ha, ha. Dog. No, I don't think so. And this looks pretty good. I won't at least set these up. I'm, I'm focusing more on defense than... Ooh, I should really have, have had a workshop a while ago as well. Yeah. 
Now, in Dual Fortress, if you set up, like, workshops around their, their, their beds, they don't like that. This game, I'm gonna assume they don't like it, but it needs to go there for now. I need structure, so D for dig. And reinforce the wall. Yeah, no, no, no. Focus. I need... Arrow slit there. And I need more stone. So I should... Yeah, dig up to that stone, yeah. And D, so I can just... Oh, that's a hard rock, isn't it? It's just gonna be harder going down south, so... Out... Ooh... Outdoors. I don't know if that actually is outdoors. No, it's not. He's just calling it that. There's an easy way to tell. If I go... No gaps. So if there was like a, a cavern or something here, it would like a gap. I'm using like my keeper senses and it's telling me. We'll go to right angle because I think that looks nice. And then you will give me all of that. Huh. Okay, okay, that's fine. I have little 4x5 rooms in here. Do. Okay, we'll control. There we go. There we go. And they'll keep my workers busy. I'll take them a while. Because it's going one by one, right? It's only one worker can work at once. And Archer is level 3 in damage training. That's nice. Now, while they're doing that, I need a barracks. A better barracks, pretty much. Ooh! I think my storage should be down here. That's what I'm thinking. So... I don't build myself into a little corner, though. What's that? An archer? One more target. Done. But where? Ugh. I could put it outside. I can claim this stuff. I just don't really want to. Uh, fetch. Get that. Uh, cut that. So I have a clear line of sight. Critter's coming in. I really should have gotten that that architect or that worker. That would, I could have used him to craft stuff, but killing, taking all of those dark knights attacking me, I got some stuff from that. Hmm. Population nine of ten, so I can have one more person. I prefer to save that for a for an architect. Or a mechanic or something. No, it's going to be an archer. What am I saying? <laughs> I have an archer. To get more population, I think... I think that's tied to... My level, I think. No, no, no. I'm remembering. With a... With the Dark Keeper, with the Mage, the, the Demonologist is tied to building statues. Now, with the, the, the Knight, or the Knight of the People, right? It's probably tied to to shrines where are they stone bridge yeah where is it installations fountain cantalabra angel statue yeah summons angels or other kinds spirits increases luxury requires technology worship uh throne increases yeah the throne increases population by 10 i need to be level 10 so it's a while for that standing torch luxury they like luxury. <laughs> Impaled head of an executed prisoner aggravates enemies. Okay, so I can, like, berserk them when they're heading in. That's kind of vicious. Barricade. That's the simple thing I could have built here in lieu of the Wall of Harrowslits. I could build a barricade. My archers could fire over it. Build some simple barricades. There we go. So that's in there. I want it poetry. <laughs> no. Gallows. So you can you can be evil bastard if you want. Torture table, gallows, beast cage, prisons. I probably won't be doing that. How do I get more peoples? A grave, yeah. All corpses. I can store my corpses in graves. I can harvest them. If you're the evil warlock, you can start getting undead who will join you and they recruit using the, the corpses. Hmm. Full lava or water. Yeah, I can do that too. Oh, I still need to build that damn thing. I get distracted playing this game. I, this is terrible positioning. Mm, no, because that will block it. Alright, one's there. Alright, it'll go there. It'll have to go there. So I can get this archer. Prioritize that, please. Thank you, Archer. So it's population at 10 now. 
Now, to get it up, I guess I have to build a throne. Oh, that's weird. Because, wait, wait. In the... Playing a keeper, playing a traditional keeper, the, the Dark Mage or the Dark Knight, you build statues, right? And sometimes I can build my stone. I don't see them here, though. I mean, I saw the angel statue. Oh, here we go, angel shrine. But yeah, it increases luxury, requires technology worship. All right. But maybe I can't get any more people. Oh, my, maybe, maybe my guy's just a bit tougher to account for that. It's like in the dwarves, you just start with 12 dudes. That's all you get, 12 dwarves. Okay, well, i got to gear my guys up then. All right. Peoples, what do you have? All right. Everyone in the band. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. How so? Oh, okay, they're, de they're just two different teams. That's, hmm. Okay, just be on that team. <laughs> Here we go. This makes sense. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I don't want the peasants in the band. I don't know how they, how they... The archer. Alright, so assign some gear. Give you a club at least. I need, I need a bow for those archers. Source of light. Rider. Elven sword. Battle axe. On the cleric? I don't know about that. Uh, let's disband this team because I need to make certain my workers are not in it. And I probably will leave the archers at home. Because if I look at them right, their skill is in... I can get seven to to archery and only three to melee, whereas the squires can get quite a bit higher. So that is that's that character there. I'll leave the squires at home, I think. I'll, no, I'll leave the, the archers at home so they'll train. Oh, he dropped the scroll summon fire elemental. All right, it's fine. Extra damage potential. That's nice. An artisan. Oh, that's what I wanted. It's fine. It's fine. I, I can sort of do things. I can like I can order things to be made. A short bow. There we go. Ah! Normally, the regular keeper can't make bows. So, the knight starts of archery. That's important to know. I have two archers. I need two bows. I wonder. I have a bow slot. I can use bows too. I think. Maybe not. Multi weapon skill allows you to use multiple weapons in a single attack. That's cool. Archer training limit of seven. Doesn't even mention. I don't think I. It says I can use a bow though. I don't know. Like he had. I'll make three, so we'll see. Hand torch, leather gloves. Yeah, I want those. Boots. Plus one to defense. That's taking all our wood. We're making this out of wood, yeah, so we're making wooden armor. Give me these wood. That wood there. Harvest all that there. They'll get that when they can. Alright. Oh, yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Alright, so I need a. A storage area. What's that? Three. Three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, three by five. Maybe I need something a little bigger. That is one, two, three, four, four by four. And that's all right, because I can always branch off it. I just don't want it to end in like a terminus. And all training off that one thing. That's good. Cut that wood. So it see it's taking quite a bit of time to dig through this hard rock. And that's not very fast, just because it's. Yeah, it's very hard rock. Insufficient light. Yeah, that's going to impact their training speed. I... Okay, that's fine. I want a light to see, so... What's... I can't remember. What is it? I thought it was S to C. It is... Orders. I can find it manually, I guess. Yeah, already bored. We find it. 
Library spawn location. It's C. <laughs> C. I was thinking the right thing, but I was thinking of spelling it, not how it sounds. C. So I can see. Thank you. There we go. Uh, I want you so much, Artisan. I could just banish people, but then, again, that's not a nice guy thing to do, so I'm not going to do it. I'll play in character. I'm not like the other lords, right? Lord of the people. Ugh, just keep teasing me, thanks. This guy's insane. We don't want insane people in here. They'll go insane and start killing other people. He's really good at forging, though, so I could, like, have him live on his own in, like, the recesses of the fortress. It could work, but it's, it's a risk. You can like, just go bonkers and kill everyone. That's a dwarf fortress thing. You don't want insane people in your lairs. You don't want that. This is good. I th yeah. And then we can just dig off those ways. So this will be the new storage location. Yeah. Or a bunker. Barracks. What's more work to move? Yeah, like, if you're training in here, you wouldn't want all this crap underfoot, right? That's just a tripping hazard. Not safe. So, yeah, this will be our storage for equipment resources in here. Yeah. So that's that will be. A squire. Extra range damage... Extra range damage potential. So I guess they can use bows. Huh. I like it. And they'll move that when they get a chance. Putting all that in there. And... Do that. Do that. One's outside getting wood. They'll gather that as well. Not enough gold. Yeah, not enough gold. It's... Also might have to dig down. Like, I might end up just digging down here. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Hmm. Auto-saving. Well, I think that's a good time to put a break in the video. I've been going for a little bit over an hour. I'm going to keep going, of course. I just have to break up these videos. Otherwise, it'll be like three hours past. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, because this is a... It's a really good game. If you like roguelikes RPGs, but also like being able to make your own layer in the world with random maps and being able to make the sort of character you want to be like a knight or a dark wizard or necromancer, you can do it. Anyway, this is Keeper RL, version 1.0 release. I'm going to play some more. I just have to break up these videos somewhere. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye.